Thank you, Kim, now that we're recording. Welcome to the team meeting. Happy Tuesday, you guys. I feel the energy. I feel the vibes. The sun is out. We haven't seen you rain for a couple days. No, and you've got the big, I mean, Simon's here. So Simon's like here. Things. Even more special. <laughs> Anyway, so let's start off our team meeting in the KW Culture way, where we're here to help support the people that we work with and the people that we love here. And Penny seems like she really has a bucket filled. So Penny, today, whose bucket are you going to fill? Leslie. Great. What did we, Leslie um, do? <laughs> we, um, I am seminar. Very cool. amazing. It was really good. I know my guy got a lot from it. So thank you very much. But then it was a lot of hard work. Yeah. Um, so thank you, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Leslie, for your leadership and just a proof and testament that you know it, it, many hands make light work, right? So when you created this and started sharing it with our mentees and the people that are growing, I mean, Mike had sent me a picture and it was like a full house in here, and we were worried that maybe one or two buyers would be the only ones to show up. And then I was looking through the screen and thought, well, how many of those are agents filling the seats? None. It was all buyers, and that's amazing and powerful. So what was, like, your secret sauce there to get people in? Uh, I don't know that there was a secret sauce, um, but I did plan it with the intent that it was for the mentees. Um, I think we're going to try to shoot to do it every other month, and we'll open it up office-wide. Yeah. We had 20 guests in attendance, awesome. and we, instead of traditionally just having the realtor and the lender, I also asked um, title, escrow, homeowners, and home warranty to be there so that people could really get an understanding that there's a much bigger picture than just getting it funded and buying a home. I love that. So, and it was so successful. You're doing it again. We are right? going to do it again. Uh, I think we're shooting for the end of April. Awesome. Really, really good. Please keep us updated. How and again, it just proves if we put the things into work that we know, that we hear, that we learn, that we know in our gut are what's going to bring us transactions and help serve our clients, it's working right now. And I think that's really exciting. So again, thank you, Leslie, for your leadership. I love that. Who else has a bucket to fill today? Great. I want to um, add a mentee open house this week. And I want to thank Deborah Bell for stopping by and bringing snacks. Oh, I'm sorry. For, never mind. Oh, she did bring snacks. Never mind. I take that back. Hey, hi, hi. Okay, well, it's really funny because you stole Deborah's bucket. That was so Deborah, you to you I wanted to feel Drake's bucket because Drake put it out there that he was having the open house and he sent it to the mentees because this was an opportunity for them to get one of the free shout outs. And I decided I would surprise and pop over. And sure enough, I get there and he has about four mentees that are there, maybe five. And of course, you saw the little video that we did the little pop up line, but Needless to say, he did it again on Sunday and had a couple of more mentees come. So thank you. Thank you for being an awesome mentor. And yeah. When you walk into Greg's open house, it's not just their supplier. Go and walk around. He has a major design that he arrives early, sets all of this stuff up for his home for hero, and um, had little... Um, Bubbles on the. Uh, That's what I was going to say is yeah, my favorite. He had these little bubbles all over the um, cabinets and walls and things to identify certain things. So Very cool. um, he's training them well uh, to do the proper open house. So thank you. I love that. Thank you, Greg. I love that. Again. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> listen, when we are an example for others and we open up our real estate activities to those that are learning and growing, it allows us to be literally a pillar. It pushes us to a new level, right? You don't want to let someone down that's looking up to you and then learning from you. It puts you in your highest and best position. Am I right, Greg? Oh, yeah. I, I, I got the rest. I'm nervous. Oh. <laughs> well, I heard really, really good feedback. And yeah, my bubbles, the, the, the bubbles that you do is very cool. Drake does throughout the home little bubbles and things throughout the entire place. It says, these are granite countertops. These are this. These are the, did you know that here are the schools or whatever all around the whole property. And so it's like an experience for clients to walk into one of your open houses because they're getting touched like at every corner and they're not getting lost in a big property. But I love that. Very cool. Anyone else? Any buckets you want to fill? Kudos, shout outs. We still have chairs in the front to be filled. Yeah, that was for Jeffrey, actually. I said. Come on, Jeremy. You know, you always know when they're sneaking in. It's like, yeah, you're sitting in the front right here. 
I love it. Okay, great. Um, celebrating Women's History Month. Uh, to, to, no, not today. What's what's today's date? The seventh. It's March. So seven. Um, this month we're celebrating uh, Women's History Month and all the things that women as a gender have done and contributed to our society and our growth. Make sure you guys share this with the women in your lives, your clients, your mothers, your sisters, best friends, people that you have, and and you know have this conversation. This is great social media content to be able to share the story and the things that have connected, no matter what your gender is. If you are male identifying, please still share and celebrate Women's History Month, right? I love it. And Edward's back there shaking his head, right? <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Um, anyways, you guys, there are social media content available to you on your Keller Williams Commands um, platform. So if you need any help finding that, contact myself, Sophia, Kim, and we can help find that content for you. Again, that's branded to Keller Williams. It's really nice images. Don't spend your time on Canva creating something to celebrate. We're burning that important. Great. Welcome to our newcomers. We actually have some in person today, and I love it. Okay, great. So I want to welcome Judy Pierce and her team, Judy, Audrey, and then, of course, her husband, Judy, stand up. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, welcome Judy, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I've been selling real estate for close to 30 years. Um, I uh, have three children. I have two grandchildren now. I live in Long Beach. Um, Excited to be here. Oh, we're so excited to have you and your experience. <laughs> and Jeff Reyes, if you guys don't know Jeff, he's usually holed up in that room with Lenny. Jeff finally got his license. So if you guys see him, make sure you give him a big old high five and pat on the back and congrats. And I love that. And then, of course, Robert. Robert, you're here in person. Stand up for me, Robert. You guys, welcome, Robert. I'm looking for myself. Um, I'm a, I grew up in Long Beach and, um, I've been here, I just moved here from Newport Beach. Um, I've been selling real estate since January, 2000, what year are we, uh, January, 2013. Yeah. And yeah, and I'm really excited to be here. Yeah. Fun fact, he's getting his pilot's license and he has an adorable pug. So we're all dog people around here. So make sure you go ask for a picture. Again, welcome to all of you. We're happy to have you in the family. Let me you guys go up and introduce yourselves and build connections with these awesome people that we're excited to be business with. So, and I'm oh. also an identical twin. So if, yes. like, if, if you see somebody, it might be my twin. It's pretty good if they're doing something that they shouldn't be doing. Exactly. I love that. Thank you. Happy birthday to our March birthdays. Uh, we have one here. If you guys see them here in the Market Center, fun fact, I think this is the smallest month of birthdays here at the office. So um, anyways, if you guys see them, make sure you wish them a happy birthday this month. Congrats to all of our February closings. It was a pretty solid month here. If you guys' name is on the list, congrats and keep up the hard work. And moving on. Okay, there we go. Here's our top producers for February. Congratulations, top sales volume, Richard Sperling, Pat Casera, Jasmine Duran, and Cindy Hinderberger. Top units close, Richard Sperling, the David Green team, Pat Casera, Cindy Hinderberger, and Jasmine Duran. High sales price was split between the default group and Tina, Louise Sanchez, and then of course our rising star, Catherine Mnuchin. So congrats, you guys. It's fun to see some new names and faces up there too. You see business is kind of picking up a little bit. So I love that. Okay, Kim, I'm ready for you. You guys uh, introducing Kim Jordan, our tech extraordinaire, who's going to share with you how to add an activity to a contact and command. So Kim, go ahead and take it away, my dear. Okay, hang on one second. Let me get back on the spotlight. There I am. Okay, I'll share my screen. And I think this is gonna be a quick tech tip. Hallie, can you see my dashboard? Yes, I can. Perfect. Okay, so today what I thought I would show you is a, an easy way to track some of the activity that you uh, may do for your contacts in your database. So here I am. I'm at my dashboard 
I'm going to come over here to the red box. I'll click on that, expand the menu, and I'm gonna to go to the first feature, contacts. This is where all my contacts are housed. Okay, so let's just say that I had a conversation with Donald Duck and I want to just make a note of that so that I can go back to that. Very simply, I'm going to put the checkbox next to Donald's name and come up here to the action. I'm going to click on the drop down, whoops, and I'll click on add an activity. And then this allows me just to make a quick note about uh, whatever activity it was that I did for Donald. So I'm going to click on interaction type and the drop down will come down. You can see I can choose from meeting. I made a call, I sent an email, a text, or write a note. I'm gonna click on text and it will give me the date. And then right here for the description, I'm just going to write, um, let's see, today uh, we're confirmed my appointment with Donald for tomorrow, okay? and then I'll add the activity. So now that's that's indicated. And if I wanted to go back to kind of see what activity I did for Donald, you'll see it's here in the timeline. So I clicked on Donald's name, which brought up this contact card. This is all the information that you've entered about a particular contact. And here on the right-hand side, the first tab is timeline, and this is all the activity that either I have done for Donald or that Donald did in the way of maybe he downloaded my app, um, maybe he opened an email, okay? So, but you'll see the very first activity here is I sent a text and there's my little message. So it's a great way to keep all your activity on a certain client there noted because you know on any given day, you're going to be contacting a lot of people and you can even sort, come up here by the sort uh, and I'll say all the texts. And then all the texts that I sent Donald would appear there. So again, like I said, this is a quick little tech tip, but I think it's something that is uh, worth understanding that you can do it and taking the time to make those little notes about your contacts. Awesome. Thank you, Kim, for sharing. Uh, yeah, you got to talk to the fans. Uh, season agent room, why is it important that we keep track of all the activities we have with our clients? Penny. You know what happened in that live, so... Can, if you're calling somebody to make a note that they've got that, that they had a baby, then a year later you know to call when you're calling them, you can ask about the first birthday. You can remember to send a first birthday card or when yes. your kids are graduating, you can send that graduation card. It makes an extra touch mm -hmm. in your database. Absolutely. <laughs> Especially when we talk about having 201 plus contacts in our database. We want to be in relationship with these people, right? And being in relationship means having meaningful connections and contacts. And I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I have a hard time forgetting if I called someone one week ago or two months ago, right? This allows us the ability to be able to keep track so we can keep a better pulse on our clients. And just like Penny said, have more meaningful relationships and conversations, right? Great. Thank you, Kim, so much. Let me reshare my screen. It's always awesome to hear from you. Do, do, do. Why is it not letting me click? There we go. And can you guys see my screen now? <laughs> yep. Yes. Yep. Okay, perfect. Great. So uh, this is a great portion of the meeting, and it's growing and growing and growing and growing, right? Um, so congratulations to all of our clothings that we had this week. Jeff Tolber, Penny McCann, Valerie Condon, Default Group, and Wigan Associates twice, Live Distinctively twice. Maggie Shapiro, Elaine Ross, and Judy Pierce. Welcome again, Judy. Um, so what does this mean as a total volume? Drum roll, please. Okay. And doo -doo. congrats. That's $62,000 in total volume this week as an in office. Congrats, you guys. Are you feeling like it's picking up a little bit? Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of heads nod. So that's good. Good, good, good volume. And, and um, 
good to see us grow. And you're getting better at the drum roll. <laughs> You're getting practice. You're getting practice, and I love it. Great. So let's take a look at our new listings that we have on the market this week. So Stelios isn't here, but I might even have him make a little video to pitch all of his new listings. So the CZRE team, that's Stelios and Crew, Lou, and um, who else? Uh, Gus. Gus, there we go. So it's Stelios, Lou, and Gus, and they have several new listings. This one is in Linwood for 1.5. It's six units total. Okay. And next one, um, they have a, a seven unit in Compton for 1.6 million. Again, another income property. You can dissect all those things with them as a group. Another six unit in Compton for 1.4 million as well. And so, yeah, that's three in total. So just FYI, uh, congrats, Joni. Joni has a new listing in Lakewood, uh, 735,000, three bed, two bath, newly on the market. Eric Green has a listing out in Palm Springs. It's a great Airbnb property. It's a one bed, one bath, 780 square feet, 269,900. So right under 270. Ken Miller has a gorgeous new listing on Prospect. Mm -hmm. It is beautiful. Look it's at the photos. Home. It is a gorgeous home. It's just under 1.9 million. It's five bedroom, three bath, a little over 2,500 square feet, a nice big lot, 680, or sorry, 6,885 square feet. So anyways, congrats, Kendra. Great. So let's open up. Does anyone have any listings they'd like to pitch? Where's my picture? Okay. Well, First of all, <laughs> welcome, and let's have you pitch them, and then we'll talk to Sophia. <laughs> we'll talk to Sophia. <laughs> so why do you guys pitch them? Go right ahead, damn it. Well, I pitched it every week. So, I, I think that was actually last week. Week. Oh, okay. oh, was it on last week's? Yes. Well, no, I haven't got the picture out there. So okay, I'm we'll we'll talk to you afterwards, Janet. Yes. So go ahead and pitch your listing right here. No, six two five four East Monita. A lot of you went to the lab house there um, last week, and um, yeah, it, we we we've been having a lot of activity. Um, two offers are supposed to come today, but if if you want a place that has potential to turn into an ADU. Um, it's five bedroom, four bath in University Park Estates. Awesome. And the pictures look beautiful. Thank you for doing the lab house. I love it. Rob, I, like I said, I think it was on last week. Go ahead and but pitch it again. Pitch it again, my friend. Pitch it again. 227 Glendora, Belmont Shore. And, uh, you know, it, because it's Belmont Shore, we had over 52 groups through. Uh, it's a beautiful condo. It's two units. There's no HOA. Glendora, as you all know, fun fact. I miss the largest street in Belmont Shore, the wide the, the, of the, all the streets that are down there. And it's, uh, you know, people uh, threatening to ride, or somebody did ride, but, well, I'm going to bring it up in ALC, so I'll wait. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You just wait in just a minute. Any other listings you guys want to pitch? Buyer needs that you guys have that might be sure to the office. We can help fill some stuff. Penny. Um, I am still looking for Seal Beach. Would like the hill if possible. Um, but we're willing to anywhere in Seal Beach. 1.8, well, let's say 1.6 up to 2 million. But if we go over the 1.8, it has to be perfect. Mm. So with like four bedrooms, if possible, you can call me by 5574 on 5574. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, got that Anyone else? Listings, fire needs. I, I'm gonna wait till ALC. Okay, and then you'll talk about it. Good. No. Okay. It's gonna be it's gonna involve everybody. Again, sorry, Jerry, we're gonna figure this out. We'll get you on the meeting and help promote. Okay, moving on. Um, so Fritz isn't quite out yet. He said about 1030. So we're running a couple minutes ahead. So I'm going to skip this and we'll come back to there. So let's bring up our affiliates. Come on, you guys, our affiliate partners, Alex. Come on up, you guys, Christy, Dealey. Great. Welcome. Christy, you want to go first? Sure. Hi, Christy B. Over Public Home Protection. So I wanted to start by saying thank you. I appreciate every single order. It really means a lot to me to be part of this family. Uh, people are often asking me what makes you different because all home warranty companies are the same. So I thought I'd share a little couple of fun facts. Um, when you're shopping for home warranty, shopping price is easy. 
but with a little bit, I'd like to challenge you to shop the company, the rep, and the service, because we're the only thing that stays with your homeowners after the close of escrow. So when things go wrong, that's where we really become super important. Um, the coverage is also extremely different from co company to company. For example, one of the major companies in this area only covers up to $10 towards Freon. Has any of you ever had to have Freon added to your air conditioning unit? It's really expensive. We have no cap. And if you have to replace one of the systems, we're one of the only companies that covers for the code, permits, mods, and upgrades with no limit on cranes. So if you're uh, dealing with an air conditioning unit that's gonna require a crane, like in a condo building or something, most companies don't even touch that. Ours is included with no cap in the platinum plan. Um, and we have very unique options. So um, this is not a new one, but it's one that's forgotten. Reiki, after your homeowner um, closes the property, um, we'll go out and we'll um, rekey six lots and give them four keys. That way all of their um, locks are the same key. Um, we also have a new option if you're selling a high-end home and they have Viking Sub-Zero, very expensive appliances, uh, for $100, it'll raise the cap from $5,000 to $10,000, which is unheard of in this industry. And I don't know if you guys have tried to repair any of the high-end appliances lately, but due to the part shortage, which you would think would be done by now, but it's definitely not. Um, it's really hard to find parts, especially for the high-end appliances. So we're replacing more systems and appliances than what we've ever seen in 47 years. We had a record high of replacing systems last year that was just mind blowing. Um, and if you are selling a home with extra refrigerators, we're also one of the only companies that will cover up to five refrigerators for 50 bucks. So that's really nice because if you have a wine fridge, a kegerator, an ice maker, um, any kind of those systems, typically it's $50 per item. Um, we have as many options as a sandwich shop. So if you're writing things like up to a thousand or two thousand, yes. I just wanted everybody to know that if my client was pressing me for questions, I needed answers. I called Christy at 722 at night and she got back to me. I try to have a quick Thank response you. time. I know you guys work really hard for your buyers and sellers, and I know that it's important that I treat them the same way you do. And that goes back to shopping reps because you know, I know that it's easy and we wait till the last because you guys have a billion things to do, but it really is important that you find somebody that's been in the industry a really long time because these things, there's a lot to learn in back office that you just don't see. Um, it's really important. And I can waive one trade call fee per property per year for all of your buyers. And if you have a buyer that's been in the military, um, I don't want them coming out of pocket. So I have these made. They're patriotic um, gift certificates for $85 to go towards any of their technicians. So there are differences, and I really appreciate you guys. Call me, text me, email me. I'm available. Right. Thank, thank you. you. And thank you again for the Alex. Who's that? Your house take with the kegerator. So rates. Get a little bit up, right? Six over six in the conventional side, just under six on the government stuff, and the jumbo's kind of in the mid sixes. Um, we started out pretty good today, and we're actually getting a little bit worse. This Friday is the or the February jobs report. Be on the lookout for that. The January jobs report is what spun us for a loop. They were expecting two hundred thousand jobs. They got five hundred thousand jobs. That really set off um, traders and bond market people thinking that the Fed is going to increase uh, at the middle of this month meeting more than a quarter percent. Okay, so if we have a gangbuster job report on Friday, rates will continue to get worse. If we don't have a good one and they revise the numbers from January lower, we'll see rates get a little bit better. Inflation is next week. The CPI reading is next week. And if we see that again cooled off, you can see rates hopefully coming a little bit back down. But that's where we're at right now. Um, again, as like a listing agent side of things, you're going to start to potentially see more FHA offers with a lower down payment because of that reduction in the EMI cost. 
So be on the lookout. We get FHA, VA offers done just as easily as conventional offers. Don't be scared of them, okay? Don't be scared of them. They're, that's that's what's out there right now, okay? The FHA, VA loans are actually nine times out of 10 easier for us to do because the restrictions are less, right? The, the client can have lower credit, can have a higher debt to income ratio. So again, don't be scared of those offers. Take them. I can uh, cross qualify them for you. Mike can cross qualify them for you, right? That's something that we do for you guys. Use that service so that we can help you, in our opinion, pick the strongest financing offer, okay? Um, and then classes on Thursday, we'll talk about that. Yes, yeah, we're going to talk about it in just a minute. Okay, cool. That's awesome. Thank, Thank you, you Alex. <laughs> okay. Hi, Hi everyone. Hi, everyone. back here with the Starting Client Title Group. Uh, today, I'm just going to be talking about social media content. Who's active on social media? Put your hand up. <laughs> <laughs> Who struggles with content for social media? Okay. All right. So I'm going to show you today where you can actually go within one of our tools to actually access a whole catalog of real estate content for you. Okay. So it's called Fidelity Agent One. Now, if you don't have the app, I'm going to put up a QR code at the end so you can scan it and you can download the app. This is premium content. So we, there is a fee. It's 99 cents a month or $10 for the whole year. It's cheaper than a cocktail. I highly recommend getting it. There's so much stuff in here. You're um, that, Deb? <laughs> <laughs> um, so you can see here, we've actually, it's updated once a month. So you can see we've got the March monthly package um, out and it's going to highlight what they've actually brought out for that month. So you will have this pop up and you'll also receive an email when the new content has come out. Um, so you can see that here. But I just wanted to highlight in here, you can see the standard infographics and then we've also swappable infographics. So these are just two of many that you have options of that I want to show you. So when you click see all in the standard infographics, it's actually going to pull up that full catalog of social media real estate content for you. It's all going to be personalized to you with your branding, your information on it. And then you just get the option, you can scroll through here and you can click on any of them. And some of them are gonna allow you to actually input like a home price. And some of them are just gonna be like content that's already pre-done. So you can see here, uh, this one is a new one that they come out with understanding buy downs. So it's talking about a buy down program versus the buying down points, temporary, permanent. You can actually then share this to your social media. You can also print this as well. So if there's something in here that you like that you want to maybe print for a farming or you want to print it for, um, you know, open houses or something like that, you can go in and do that um, through here as well. Now, it is going to also allow you to size it for where you're posting this information. So if a lot of you kind of toggle between Instagram, Facebook, you know, you're constantly toggling, it's always you've got to resize it for everything. So it does it for you. So it's easily, um, you know, able to do that for you. And then it gives you suggested hashtags and captions as well. So you don't have to think about it. You're on the go with, you know, you've got your phone with you. So I'm doing it on the computer, but you could also have it access to your phone. You can just quickly copy the hashtag, copy the caption and post it directly to your social media. Now, any of you do videos? Does anyone do videos? Okay. So some of you do videos. So I know that sometimes it's hard to come up with content to actually put out as a video. So you can come in here and actually steal this information, read it, understand it, and then create a video around it. So if you don't want, you know, the, the you know, average like post, you can actually create a video around it. So instead of having to go onto Google or searching and taking up all your time, you can just come here, find the information and you can um, go from there. The swipeable infographics are going to be your multiple carousel images. So this is going to be, uh, so like benefits of owning a home. I'm just going to show you an example. So this is for like Instagram stories or even like your carousel images on Facebook or even Instagram. Um, you can see here, it's actually like an interactive, like they have to swipe or they have to click on the story and then it's going to give them the um, information. And then at the end, it's going to actually be personalized to you saying, contact me today. So it's really easy content to create. Um, it's all done for you. All you have to do is have an account, sign up for the 99 cents a month or the $10 for the year. And then you've got this content that's updated once a month um, with everything there. So oh, any questions? And you do one-on-one -on -one tutorials, right? For those of us that are a little slower, yes. needs more sits done. Exactly. And if you want more one-on-one -on -one information, you know, we can sit down. I can show you in depth. This app actually is a buyer and seller net sheet as well that is free for you to use. 
Um, so they've got a ton of different calculators you can see up here um, as well. So there's a lot that this app has available. Let me just share the- you can um, this stuff on your website too. Yeah, this is all on our website. It's, no, our website. Oh, yes. Our own website. Yeah, you would be. You can download it and do whatever you want with it. Yeah. So this is the QR code if any of you want to scan it. If you don't have the app yet, um, you can do that. Awesome. All right. Thank, Thank you, you. Yeah. And again, afterwards, we will hang back. Uh, if you guys have any questions, all of our wonderful affiliate partners uh, will come and will stay so you can engage with them as well. Let me just share my screen here. Um, okay. okay, perfect. So for I introduce this person that's already making himself a home at home up here. Okay, great. Because we love our agents so much and we're so sorry that we made a mistake. Here's Tom and Jeb's listing. <laughs> awesome, you guys. Again, check it out. It's awesome. It's better. Congratulations, Rob and Jeb, the listing that they pitched. And of course, Janet's beautiful home. Thank you. Great. Great. We're happy to celebrate you. Okay, again, Fritz is already coming up here and making a home. Last week, we had our agent panel talking about all the value of Keller Williams. This week we have the man, the myth, the legend, yeah. uh, and he even put a jacket on today. So you know it's gonna be good. So anyways, you guys, welcome Fritz Pollard up here. Welcome Fritz. Thank you, that's you. Good afternoon. It's nice to see my junior high picture in <laughs> good use. Uh, this is the only industry where that is completely acceptable. <laughs> Okay, um, real quickly, I handed out uh, a sheet. We're going to talk a lot about family reunion takeaways. I'm going to kind of walk you through my whole uh, family reunion outline. Um, part of what we learned there is that our mindset, our schedule, our time blocking, our commitment to habits is a really big deal. So this Friday, the 10th, at 1030, I'm doing a call. It's an hour-long call. It's free called Win the Day. What we're finding is people who don't have good habits and schedules get rolled up in distraction and overwhelm. So we're going to spend an hour giving you some tools. We're going to do some sharing. There's going to be some networking. Please join this call. You can just click on this uh, QR code. You instantly go to the uh, registration page. And by the way, this is not real estate industry specific. Friends, family, relatives, people you know, your kids, whatever, the more the merrier. I just had someone tell me that they could share with 2,000 people. I'm like, okay, it so it's going to be a big call. Um, but at the end of the day, I think we're getting some good foundation things, and we'd love you to be a part of it. And by the way, um, it's also on my door. My door looks like a post-it note, but, you know, there you see if you are on, I don't know, how many people do we have here that are on Zoom? You can just walk by my office and click the QR code. So it's, it's on Zoom or it's live in the office? It, it's, it's on Zoom, but I'm thinking for these people on Zoom that can't get the flyer, they can go click on it there. Okay, so um, for those of you that show up to any of the training that I do, you know that I am a big proponent of surrounding yourself with people that are doing more. The event is over, so we can't really do anything about that. At the end of the day, though, I want to give you just some clarity on the reality of this event. About 10,000 people attended it. That gets my attention. You know, uh, inflation in California, travel, weather, 10,000 people found their way there. Check that box for maybe there's some people there that are doing more than I'm doing. In addition to that, if I look at this office, we had some pretty amazing people from this office choose to go. Great was there. You were there. Uh, Hallie was there. Janet was there. Minnie was there. I'll go anywhere that Minnie is. Uh, uh, Brad and Shannon Jones were there. So, so at the end of the day, check the second box for, huh, I was maybe here and everyone else was there. So the reality is I want you to really question yourself is, are you a potted plant that needs to be repotted 
into something that would give you greater and, and, and more opportunity to get a new idea. Now, next year, it's going to be in Vegas. In fact, I understand the next two years, it's going to be in Vegas. So start planning now. You take $100 out of each deal. You close 10 deals. You pay for the trip. Get a group together, BRBO, whatever that is. Go rent something there, and let's stay as a group. More and more coaches are doing that. I can afford to stay in the hotel by myself. I always get a roommate because I'm at the event the whole time. I don't, you know, my eyes are closed. I don't even know what's going on in the room. So what I'm challenging you to do is, come on, keep it clean. I don't know where, it's nice to have you there, but you're distracting me. Um, so, so plan that now. Because at the end of the day, a Jim Rohn, great motivational speaker, says this. Sometimes we don't go to these things because we think we need another deal. You need another skill. And then the deals come. So if that just kind of blew your mind a little bit, we need another skill. So we can go do business in this market that's coming. And there was only 10,000 people there. And yet that was a big subset of the KW community. And I want to see you all thrive. And there was a lot of great things shared there. Does anyone have any comments or thoughts on that? I mean, now we have a whole year to figure it out. You can drive there. You can fly there. Plenty of places to stay. So just be thinking along those lines. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to walk you through. So I started on a Friday before the actual event began with coaches training. I had the opportunity to present on one of the stages on Saturday morning. And I'm going to start with that presentation as far as key takeaways. Now, for those of you that come to my class, there are five time blocks in your schedule that you absolutely need to have. I shared that to 200 people. It was standing room only. I did a little bit of pre-marketing on my own. But this was like, is the things just getting started? People are just figuring out what the convention center was. And now they're in my class. When I present, I wear a suit. So people found me quite easily because I don't think there's another guy wearing a suit in that whole building except for the security. <laughs> Would you agree? Mm -hmm. Okay, you saw me walking around. I did. I did so, <laughs> so these five time blocks literally caused three people to stop me at the north wing about a mile away from where I did the presentation, they go, I've already done what you've said. I've already put my time blocks in. Thank you. It was the best message we've had. What well, was the first message of, of the week? I'm interested to see um, after Tuesday if they still felt the same way. But I want to make sure that you guys get this because I was reminded that what we talk about all the time in here isn't spoken about outside our community, and it's really good stuff. So here are the five time blocks that everyone needs to have. What's the first one for the people that come to my classes all the time? Lead generation. It's lead generation. So put the time block in for five days straight. Use your digital calendar. Populate the whole year. You have to go hunting for business every single day. It's like I blew these 200 people's minds. But the, what blew their mind is, is to put it in the calendar in advance. And then I said, adjust the depth of the appointment to fit your lead gen habits and needs. What's the second one? Lead follow-up follow is a different appointment. You'd think I blew their minds again. You find the business and then you got to follow up with it. Studies would show that 90% of people that do transact come from lead follow-up versus the, the, the initial lead gen perspective. So again, put it in there and then maximize or reduce the depth of the appointment. Rick, say that one more time. 90%. 90% studies are showing now is coming from the follow-up, not the initial contact. And I, I blame the internet and social media for that. They just got such access to information. So the follow-up becomes critical. What's the third one? Negotiate contracts. Um, or go on. A you, you almost have the golden star. We're taking it away. <laughs> so go on appointments. You lead generate to create the follow-up, and then you go on appointments. So what I told this group of 200 people, we talk about all the time, is create one to three time blocks and call it appointment one, appointment two, appointment three, and get used to the fact that agents go on appointments. It's what we do. If you don't have anything in there, how do we start to train our mental and, and 
um, physical and emotional connection to the fact that what do we do every day? We wander around here, we get some coffee, we do get an old donut. <laughs> you got to start. What? You say I, I, I love the old donut so much that I literally pounded a nail in to hang a picture of my wall with a donut. <laughs> That's just personal issues. But it, what, what I told this group is get used to the fact that you should have one to three appointments a day. Could you imagine the business you'd have if that was the norm? And yet, why couldn't it be the norm? As some of your limiting beliefs are going, oh, what did you just say? Three a day? Yeah. If you're lead genning effectively, it can happen. This is why their minds were blown before the event even got started. What's the fourth? Oh, okay, I have a question. Prince, you put three appointments in a day, two appointments in one appointment a day, and you don't have an appointment that day. What happens? It's a great point. Do? So what do you think we should do? Just go to Legion. Just continue to work your craft. Okay? Continue to work your craft. And then, by the way, you'll go from one to three in time. Okay, Mr. Goldstar, what's the point? Negotiate one? contract. Negotiate contract. So when you're doing one to three appointments a day, you're going to need an appointment to negotiate contract. Well, I just to negotiate contracts whenever they happen. Not being a business owner, so you're letting someone else dictate your schedule. So we put that in there too. Now, if you're not don't have any contracts, I'd probably make that 30 minutes tops. What could we do if we're not negotiating a deal? Do more lead yet. Question. What do you consider inspections and showing property? Not in those five time blocks. Yeah. Business. So these are the time blocks to get you those appointments. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And by the way, you got to do that, but that's the 80%, not the 20%. These five time blocks is 20%. And that 20% will make the um, make your world happen. It will make your 80% of income work. So, and in time, you may have someone else going on those appointments for what we can leverage. I always like to go on the inspection because I kind of got to resell the home again. But again, those are things you work out on the 80% of your business and can leverage out. Yes. You thought about uh, you know, negotiate a negotiate contract if you don't have one. But I've been doing this like Judy for almost 32 years. Mm -hmm. And what these new agents and what agents out there who we don't know need to understand the contract because there's that 90%, 95% of them have no clue yep. what the contract is. So maybe that's a good point of study. Learn sorry, your sorry, because we yeah, just, no, it's a good point. We just had one. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Well, that we have all the answers, Fritz, but yeah. we certainly know the contract. Yeah. And, and, and again, this is what I see the new version of, of agents is, you know, we, we are, you know, we, we uh, email it, you know, in the good old days, we sat down and we wrote the dang thing out and, and you knew that contract. Okay. And then what's the last one? Script practice. Okay. Script plays. practice and role plays, how we get good at our craft. So I wanted to start with that because I think there's a lot of folks that don't come to my class. The ones that do get used to hearing this, but 200 people, three of them tracked me down and said, that really made a difference. I've already put those five time blocks in. I've populated the rest of the year. And we'll see what happens because I'll likely see them again somewhere and we'll see how it changed their life. Okay, let me go to the next one. So coaches training was on Friday. One of our bold coaches, and I'm going to give you an exercise. And let's see, this may not be, forget the board. Okay, I want you to draw. Shall we bring it up? No, three circles that overlap, two top, one bottom. Okay, I want you to put business in one, I want you to put life in one, and then I want you to leave this one blank. This was an interesting exercise that was done with us coaches. Here's what was said. You only grow a big business when you grow a big life. You only grow a big business when you grow a big life. It's kind of that potted plant scenario. So what I want you to do is on a scale of one to 10 in the business circle, 10 being you've mastered it, you, you could teach it. What would you rank yourself right now? Scale of 1 to 10, 10 being so good you could teach it. Let's put that number in there. Then in the life circle, life so good I could teach it is a 10. 1 to 10, where are you? We're going to times the two numbers together and write that in the third circle. What's our highest possible score? 
It's 100. Times those two numbers together, write your number in that circle. Do you have room to grow? Now, if it's 10 for 10, good. Why am I here? You should be up here teaching this. Um, you only grow a big business when you grow a big life. I really want you to think about, and this was a huge takeaway when you look at all the speakers from Family Reunion. Are you living and being the big life that will create the big business? The limit may be more on your personal side than it is your business side. And, and here's a seasoned veteran that's nodding his head. I appreciate that. Very true. Yeah. So here's the thing. Honesty is the fertile soil for which to grow. So we just had an honesty moment. Now, you may have come in here and gone, hey, the bagel was great. We got some great presentations. Hopefully, I just hit you with a little like, Ooh, I may need to ruminate on that a little bit. Man, they were talking about that at Family Reunion. Maybe I'll figure out a way to get to Vegas. And, you know, who knows? Maybe many gets a sweet and we all just can't. <laughs> I mean, I mean what, what the heck? Okay, watch this. I don't even know where I was. I think I got this at Coach's Training, too. Five things to look for in an accountable person. You think, hey, I got accountability handled. Um, let's see. Five things to consider when looking at an accountable person. Watch me. Tell me. Show me. Ask me. Help me. Watch me, tell me, show me, ask me, help me. What is the three-letter word that shuts those five things down? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, we that. That's the yeah. We got a different class for whoever just blurted that out. No, three words? Yep. Three, no, three letters. Three letters. Yes. Okay. What shuts this down and it's not yes? What? What? What, what is that? How? Hey, maybe, so, hey, watch me, tell me if I could be better, show me, ask me how I'm doing, and then help me. What would shut all that down for a normal human being to not want any of that? Yeah. What? Yeah. Okay, that's four. That's four. Yeah. We're, we're but, getting closer. Okay. <laughs> it's ego. Um, ego. By the way, ego shuts down most opportunistic things in all of our world. So what I want you to think about is if there is a segment of the market, if there's a skill, if there's anything going on that you could be better at, check yourself on these five references. I mean, I thought it was a really interesting perspective about what an accountable person looks like. We, we, we learn and we go through the process of learning quicker through failure and yet answering these five. We get a lot of support from the team here. The question is, are you checking in and taking advantage of it? And if you want her, you got nobody to blame but yourself if you aren't happy where you're at. And we ain't, ain't. We aren't growing a big life and a big business if we're not checking in. Okay, coach's training, coach Val. Oh, yes. You said this is five things for what person? Um, for um, five things to look for in an accountable person. Okay. And I would hope that those five things apply to me. Because in the work I do, if I let ego creep into my world, I got this, my days are numbered. By, probably by the minute. Coach Fallon, you sell a dance coach, recently retired. She said two really cool things. And by the way, she became the gymnastics coach right during time when all that abuse stuff was happening. Oof, what a powerful leader perspective when that stuff's going on. And if there's a great Netflix thing on, I haven't watched it called um, Athlete A, which mm -hmm. documents it. Really good stuff, according to my wife. Um, here's what she said. Be anxious for nothing and grateful for all things. Now, she said that, as she said then the next thing, when she was diagnosed with breast cancer. So this whole thing, be anxious for nothing and grateful for all things. And then she said, what holds you back is FOPO. Anyone know what FOPO is? fear of other people's opinions so is that holding you back from being that bigger better person and sometimes that person holding you back is in your inner circle which is why Gary says be very careful of the five people you let 
in the three to four foot radius around you daily. That's why I keep um, Holly and many as close to me as possible. <laughs> now I got a different thing there speaking of fear, but that's, that's why I leave out the back door. Um, okay, uh, Gary CEO Mastermind. I'm gonna give you two of the five things that he said uh, were critical. He said, the closer to the truth you get, the simpler things become. The closer to the truth you get, the simpler things become. He's talked about the path is in the map. He's talked about you need to know your conversion rates. If you want to buy the lie and, uh, you know, uh, this, again, you're not going to get closer to the truth. And I think too often we're making up a story that is not truth based. The next thing he said, the key to building a big business, get there first and block everyone else out. The key to building a big business, get there first and block everyone else out. Um, when I put these market stats up here and we look at where expireds are going. When we look at inventory increasing, what are the opportunities there that if you got truthful about it and you got there first through your skill, your support, your value, your techniques, whatever it is, and you blocked everyone else out, you'll say, how long can this shit go on? Keep it going. And, and yet too often we, 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 we fear that. Okay, so I don't know. I thought that uh, was, was interesting. Now, uh, Mo Anderson, everyone know who Mo is? She uh, was at his mastermind that, of course, we saw her at the Inspirational Morning. Just something that resonated with me. When God puts a dream in your DNA, it comes through regardless of your circumstances. When God puts a dream in your DNA, it comes through regardless of your circumstances. So this is where building that big life kind of is like a superpower shield around anything that happens. And please talk to any of the leaders if you're kind of getting stymied by what's going on in the world. I look at it as all opportunity. And I've been conditioned to think that way. I don't care how bad it gets. Because it's just going to mean there's less competition. Okay. Um, Ryan Holiday, um, interesting author. He does a newsletter called The Daily Stoic. Do you know him? All right, yeah. He's an interesting cat. Um, and that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, but he gave us this cool thing. And by the way, Hallie, if I use this, do not uh, judge me harshly. He said the magic word in life is no. No to getting overcommitted to others. But he gave you the script. I must decline for secret reasons. <laughs> Get ready. It's coming. Now watch this. Now, this is a guy that's written books. He bought a bookstore in this little town in Texas, and, and it, it's kind of an interesting story. Here's his, his checklist on how do I remove myself from responsibilities and obligations. He said, could this be done with Zoom? Could this be done with a call? Could this be done with an email? Could this be done with a text? Could this be done with the text unsent? So as you're saying, yes, by the way, that impacts our ego. Oh, you know, hey, of course I will. I'd love to. Um, understand it, at what peril. What are you giving up when you say yes? Because you're saying no to something else. My fear is what we say no to too often is those five timelines. How are we doing? One more. Um, I must decline on secret reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're going to five. One more. Okay. Um, okay, we'll end with else. So Gary, um, the CEO masterminds are really good. So he brought in this author, he brought in this buffed out nutrition guy. And then of course we had Brett Tanner uh, sharing some tax stuff. Um, so Dr. Lane North said, he's busted all these myths. He said, over time and followed, almost every diet has the same outcome, which hopefully should make everyone feel like it's probably you and your lack of commitment to it than it is to die. But I get it. I always need a new pair of golf clubs to improve my golf game. <laughs> it's a joke. Um, but here's something that was interesting. Walking between two to 8,000 steps a day reduces um, mortality rates massively. Very true. I'm sorry. Yeah. So we have an expert. 
Yeah. Um, so again, look at, because that's building the life piece. You have more energy. You know what, Chris, yeah. I am on that. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm here. I've got health issues all yeah. over the place. And you talk about the commitment to getting back. I don't need to go in and let it define me. Yeah. And I'm here. I'm, exactly. I'm, I'm seven years old and nobody does that. Yeah. Or, and, 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 and again, you get the, you get to define it, as you say, but there right. was a lot of stuff shared about health. And, and he was really kind of holding a mirror up to everyone and saying, all diets work if you do. Um, whatever you need to do, and let's live these vastly longer, more exciting lives. And in our world, we get to invest that time into making a pretty good income when we have the energy to have that success. So um, I took 117 pages notes from Friday to Tuesday morning. Um, and there was some really good stuff. We'll continue to share this and I'll maybe use my Thursday call to, or my Thursday meeting here to kind of get more uh, out yeah. on the table. I went to a great a database breakout and I think I'll go through that on Thursday. So if you want to get some more database stuff, um, let me know. That'd be okay. perfect. You got any friends in the comments? Yeah, right. be so good. His energy is unmatchable. I love it. Okay, great. Um, so moving on here down the line, Rob, why don't you come on up here for our ALC corner? Here's your minute. Come on up, you guys. Rob Feldman, welcome, Rob. I love it. Um, you know, there's, there's all kinds of things that I wanted to say, but in sitting here for the, the minute, all you newbies, look at all the ALC, the, the Associate Leadership Council are here today. Let's get more of the other people in. There, there's no reason not to. If we make the time and the effort, and as what Chris said, the, the uh, commitment, let's get here. Okay, that's number one. And number two, with all the stuff he told us, oh my Lord, don't get crazy about it. Take one thing today if you have to. Take one thing and make it happen. That's really what, you know, and I'm like, I mean, we've got experts in here that are all sitting. We've all been, you know, some of them are really successful. Um, I'd like to think we're successful because we're still in this business. But the biggest thing, too, that I want to say, because I'm going to get into what I, I want. Don't be afraid. We've been in this for 32 years. I came in the other day to Halley because we have a listing that should have sold already, but it's not. And we've done everything, the Fritz. We've done it, done it, done it. So we we chatted, and I'm telling you, come in, talk to Simon. We talk to Simon about it all the time. You talk to talk to Cindy. She's got listings now. Talk to Helly. Don't be afraid to knock on the door to say what's going on. How you know? Talk to Deborah. Deborah works with us when we're gone. We call Deborah right away, and she's Johnny on the spot. Use your team it's they're fabulous so what we came up with all you people here and deb and i are giving permission it's 11142 bennington street in los alamitos california i know 720 actually two doors down from where we live so you you the price is a million two seventy five three bedroom two baths single story Fabulous! It's a uh, uh, pool. It's Shangri La in the backyard. I mean, the whole you know, it's a fountain. It's the whole nine yards. And they'll have great neighbors. <laughs> Thank you. So what we talk? I mean, we actually talked. Hallie took a half hour out of her day because we, we yes, we do chit chat. You all know that about me. I love to talk. But um, we actually really got serious and said, okay. So mentees, if you're here. Um, Put it on your Facebook. Put it on where, where's uh, my title for? Oh, there she is back there. She'd love to hear this. Put it on your Instagram. Put it all over. Sell it. Bring a buyer. If you don't have a listing, bring the buyer. Let's get there's, you know, Hallie gave me a great staff. There's 73 new agents that have started. I think so. Yeah, quite a few. Probably more than that. Right. Yeah. So if they put it all over their, their uh, social media, damn right we're gonna sell this house uh -huh. because we've had you know we've had 70 80 people through on the open houses and we do what Drake did we take them when we do and we show them we do we don't just turn on the tv and watch the games we never have never will and that's why we've been successful like Drake does but that that is such a cool thing to do tell your people tell your friends it we're not really, with it yeah, yeah door it, not with it. It'll, you know, right, door not with it. And is it a little self-serving? You're darn right. 
because all we really want to do is sell it. We want to show these sellers why they really hired us because we can sell the property. So yeah. basically what you're saying right now, yes. and most agents don't say, is that you are giving permission to everyone in this room right. to market your listing on their social media. Here's that credit. It's the opportunity for you 1, guys. 1142 Bennington. B E N N I N G D O N Street. Yes, in the, way, in the way that you follow DRE guidelines is you promote, you know, just listed, showing, blah, blah, blah. And then at the bottom, listing provided by Rob and Deb Feldman, right? Again, make a flyer, work with us, door knock, call people. Hey, I don't know if you're interested, but there's a property in Los Alamitos. One of my you know, colleagues and partners has it. Do you want to go by and take a look? Even if it's not something for them, you're reaching out with well, an item like, value, you know, right? You know, I mean, right. you know, I'd love to do business, the business with Peggy. She has a lot of Rossmore. We, we don't have listings in Rossmore. There's not much in Rossmore right now. But we, we have done stuff in the past together because we made it work. And you can. I mean, oh my gosh. And the last thing I will say has nothing to do with anything. Don't read the press. Today there were two articles that said, oh my God, we're this, the sky is falling. It's not falling. And after what Chris so. I love it. Thank you. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, right. We use we use Christy, we use Stern Spy. You all have the choices, but the choices that Deb and I make were very loyal. Because they do what they say they're doing. Uh, you're right. One last yeah. on the calendar. Yeah. Right. And, yeah. and do come because it's going to be interactive. We're going to we're going to talk about what to do. And if you're new, even if you're you're in the business a while, we have some great stuff going. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We'll have food. Great. Um, so again, use our active inventory. Make sure you have permission from the listing agent to lead generate on your own. If you don't have your own inventory, borrow those who give you permission, just like Robin. Thank you again to all of our agent leadership council that you guys are here today and leading and representing. It's so exciting. So speaking of the calendar, let's go over what this next week or so looks like. There is a SoCal commercial meeting that's happening today uh, where they're going to learn a little bit more about the medical segment of commercial real estate, where you guys can hop on Zoom and find out a little bit more that's happening at 1 p.m. So there is two ways to watch this new 30, 60, 90 class that is coming on. Does anyone know who Krista Mashor is? Uh, she has a, yeah, yeah. She has a big coaching business. Uh, she's a huge expansion team, kind of like uh, United Home Group or any of those ones with Keller Williams. Massive, massive. She's a great coaching business. And she's teaching 30, 60, 90 success through others. If you guys are figuring out how to create leverage in your business, this is a wonderful session for you to tune in. Now, you can purchase your own Zoom by scanning the code there. So that way you guys have all the materials separately. You'll get access to the recordings, but I did purchase it myself and low key, I will be putting it on here in the bullpen. So if you guys want to come and join me, we can sit and have a good conversation. It's a great way to start exploring what leverage might look like in your business and how to set up the first 90 days for success with any type of leverage and partnership. So if you have a team, if you're thinking about having a team, if you're an individual agent who needs more leverage, make sure you guys make it and or register for your own team. Is it the same thing both days or is it a two-part? It's a two-part series, not the same thing both days. It's two parts. It's it's also a part of career visioning kind of that they're going to put in there as well. If you guys speak Keller Williams, you know what that is. I love that. Leslie or Ellen? Um, are you going to be having trainings tomorrow that's script practice and RPA? It's during the same time you're going to be here at the same time. Good so that's a really good point. So we're going to have this here in the bullpen and we'll talk about that afterwards. So thank you. Yeah, this was something that was added on in there. So thank you. Good question. Edward? Say, okay, great. Thanks, guys. We'll get that clarity. Quantum Leap. No, not the television show. <laughs> what does that be? <laughs> I love how raw. <laughs> Anyways, no, not the television show. Uh, Quantum Leap, which is a tried and true education series through Keller Williams. It was actually created by Gary himself. I have never taken it before. I am a new to Quantum Leap person. I cannot wait. It's really about that, building that bigger life that Fritz talked about. Um, where Ashley Lunn, if you guys know who she is, she's going to share a little bit about her life, the things that she's realized to be able to grow to be the person she is as well as share some of Gary's uh, unique concept. 
It's happening over at Keller Williams South Bay here at the end of the month, again, hosted by our region. I will be there March 23rd. You guys scan and register. Again, it's about building that big life. Has anyone in here taken Quantum Leap? It's really rare because you have to be a, a special certified instructor and you have to go through all of these things to actually be able to teach that class. So I would love to have more of our hands raised uh, by the end of the month. Um, so script and role play, good point. Let's talk about that and we'll figure that out on the calendar. Thank you, Leslie. Uh, Many's Real Estate Live that's happening on Thursday. And then speaking of another script and role play, we have some more opportunities for us to learn. Uh, Brad and Shannon opened up their team script and role play on Thursday and the more popular it gets, the more we might grow or change different days. Uh, I know some of you guys were on there and it was really exciting because it gives that perspective of what a top producing team is doing. Um, you don't even have to turn our cameras on, right? Uh, yeah, you do. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, you know, yeah. 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 ready to go. <laughs> well, good. Thank you, guys. I heard really good feedback about the growth and the challenge that it brings. So make sure you guys join them on Thursday morning. Um, mortgage hacks. Who in here has heard of hacks, hacking, house hacking, mortgage hacks? Are your clients asking about, or is Rob the only one that's heard about this? Well, anyways, if you guys have the tippity talks, it's the thing that the kids are doing. It's trending over and over and over again right now, this conversation. So, Keller Williams uh, just put out an education series that I myself am growing and learning. Sorry, Drake, I'm getting away. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about non-conventional financing. We're going to talk about all the hacks, all the money saving tools, tips, things like that. We're going to go through everything that you saw in the shift book and make it current today. We're going to talk about if you don't know what buy downs are, we're going to give it in a way that you can consume it and then regurgitate it into your clients to be able to offer the true value proposition. So make sure you guys join us. It's happening this Thursday at 2 p.m. Uh, Mike and Alex are both going to be teaching it, and I'm going to be giving you the agent filtered version. So that way <laughs> we all really understand what we're talking about, right? <laughs> um, so you guys do not miss out. This is the first time we're ever teaching this class. It's brand new, hot off the press. Let's put it on your calendar. Okay, great. Next up, a very fun social event. Leslie, Jeffrey, Dre, anyone want to share about this? Next week, okay, Thursday. Right it's now. next week, Thursday, the 16th, 4.30, where, or weather permitting, we will meet out in the courtyard. Um, new agents, expect a call from one of us. We're going to try and encourage you to come. There's a RSVP sheet over here. Please sign up so we can get a head count for food and drinks, and make sure you wear your green. We're also going to have a 50-50 and have the proceeds for the KW Cares. Awesome. Thank you again for putting together. I'm looking forward to it. Make sure you sign up that sheet and be there, you guys. These parties are always so fun. They get a little rowdy, but they're always a good time. <laughs> right? Okay. I don't know why it skipped it so fast. So not this next meeting, not the 14th, but the meeting after we're having our awesome pancake breakfast. You'll have pancakes and bacon. And then the very generous Edward is going to be who is a little bit of turning around. He's like, who is this? Um, he's a massage therapist by trade, and he is going to be doing some little mini massages, um, like neck, shoulder, whatever, uh, for a small donation to KW Cares. Very, very generous. So if you guys want to come in a little bit early, book that little mini appointment with Edward, he'd love to be able to help out and kind of raise a little bit of money. I know he's massaging like half the office anyway, so it'd be a good way to start your day. <laughs> I know, right? Um, anyways, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for sticking out. It was a great meeting. Penny. Oh, uh, next Wednesday. We agree. Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Yes, we added for, something to the calendar. Uh, yes, for you, you agents, I'll be doing a little class. Um, 101, it's just really basic. So I'll go through everything from setting up your phone, opening up the Supra, things I keep in the back of my car for everyday emergencies and things that you can use at open houses. But that will be here in the office next Wednesday at 12 noon. Awesome. Okay. Ish. <laughs> hey, you guys, thank you.